Welcome to this week's assembly. Snooty Smith was the chairman, the owner of Southmore Athletic Football Club. No one knew why people called him Snooty, but no one knew his real name. That's what everybody called him. That's how he introduced himself. But Southmore Athletic had been near the bottom of the league for the last five seasons. Snooty had a dream. His dream was that Southmore Athletic would get promotion to the next league. He spent his time thinking about that, how that could be done and making plans. It was in between the two seasons, so in the summer, where footballers have a break. Brian King, a striker from the league above, came up for sale. Snooty thought, if I could get Brian, he might make the difference to our team and we might get promotion. I've got to buy him. The more he thought about it, the more he was convinced that that was what he needed to do. The only problem was Brian's transfer fee was too high. Snooty hadn't got enough money, but he had to get Brian. So he started selling his possessions. He sold things on eBay. He sold his CD collection, his PS4, his laptop. He sold his kitchen table and chairs, his wardrobes, his sofa, his armchair, his bed. When Dave Morgan, the club captain, went round to see Snooty, he was surprised to see on his drive being sold was his limited edition BMW car, his caravan and his vintage motorcycle. Dave said, why are you selling all these things? You love that mot motorcycle. Snooty said, all he said was raising money for the club. Then Snooty did a sponsored run 20 laps around the athletic stadium. On his sponsor form, it simply said, raising money for the club. Just before the season was about to start, Bob Fraser, the goalkeeper, went round to visit Snooty. Bob was surprised to see a big for sale sign outside the house. When Bob asked Snooty where he was going to move to, Snooty just replied, I'm not sure. The next thing Snooty did was organise a jumble sale in the town hall. He sold his cups, his plates, his cutlery, his books, his garden tools, even his curtains. And some of his clothes. In fact, he sold a lot of his clothes. Soon afterwards, Snooty seemed to disappear. His house had been sold and no one had seen him for a while. The team and the fans were a bit worried about Snooty. What had happened to him? It was a week before the first match of the season. Dave Morgan, the captain, needed to collect something from Snooty's office, which was inside the stadium. Dave knocked on the door and went in. What a sight met Dave's eyes. There was no big desk. There was no high-backed leather armchair. There were no filing cabinets. In the middle of the room sat Snooty on a little wooden stool, dressed not in his usual posh suit, but in an old white t-shirt, an old black, an old black joggers. In the corner of the room, there was a sleeping bag that was rolled up. Dave looked at him and there was Snooty sitting on his little stool, rubbing his hands, saying to himself, I've done it, I've done it. Dave said, you've done what? Snooty said, I've done it. He clenched his fist and he said, Dave, yes, 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 I have done it. Dave looked at him and said, you've done what? 
Snooty got up off his stool, went towards Dave and gave him a massive hug. Dave, I have just secured the signature of Brian King. He is going to make a difference to our team. I had to sell everything to meet Brian's transfer fee. But I've done it. I've done it. And he started doing a little dance round the office, waving his hands up in the air, shouting, I've done it. Brian King signs for Southmore. Dave just stood there shaking his head and said, well, that's really good, Snooty. Are you sure you're OK? Yes, I am, said Snooty. I'm great. But where are you living? Snooty said, this is my office, Dave, that I work in, that I now live in and I sleep in. But you can't live here, said Dave. Are you OK? Yes, I've never been better, said Snooty. I'm OK and I don't care. I've done it. I've got Brian King. Now we can win promotion. That is the most important thing for me and this club. Well, that season, Brian King was the top scorer in the league with an amazing 38 goals. Southmore Athletic not only won promotion, but they were top of the league with a record number of points. 98 points. The team had a victory procession through the town in an open top bus. Snooty was on top with the players. He was still dressed in his old white t-shirt and his old black joggers. He held the trophy aloft above his head and said, my dream has come true. I'm the happiest man alive. Snooty gave up everything so that he could get what he really wanted, what was most valuable to him. Jesus told two stories in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13. They're two very short stories. One was about a man who found a treasure in a field which someone had hidden. He was so happy that he went out and immediately sold everything he had so that he could buy the field and get the treasure. The second story was about another man who went in search of fine pearls. When he found a pearl that he thought was the very best, he sold everything he had so that he could buy it. Like Snooty, these two men in Jesus' stories found something that they thought was worth giving everything for, everything they owned, so that they could have it. In other words, they gave up things in order to obtain or risk get what was the most important and valuable thing to them. Now, I think we can take at least four meanings from this story. Firstly, Jesus is saying that the best thing in the world is for us to be friends with him. And I have to say that in my life, that's the most important thing to me, being a friend of Jesus, because he loves us and he's with us in our lives and he helps me when times are tough. Number two, treasure is something that represents value. We, you and me, we're valuable to God. Treasure to one person may be unimportant or worthless to another. Some people might call you names or even try to make you feel unimportant. But the good news is it doesn't matter what other people say about you or even what you think about yourself, God values you. You are treasure to God. God knows your true potential. You are a treasure to him. And that is really encouraging. Number three, the third thing I think it teaches us, this story, is that it's good to spend time and effort in the things that we enjoy, which are usually the things that we're good at. And you see athletic people training for the Olympics. They give up things to try to gain their goal. But it can be the same for us. 
it's good to spend time and effort in that which we're good at what we enjoy. And number four, your school values are treasure. They're important and they're good. So let's make every effort to be kind, helpful, respectful and gentle. Let's take responsibility, strive for the best, try to inspire others and ourselves. All these values and other school values that you might have that I haven't mentioned are good for your lives at school now and good for your lives in the future when you grow up, you go to a bigger school, perhaps to university and work and maybe have a family of your own one day. But remember these values. I hope you've liked the story of Snooty and Southmore Athletic. Bye. Bye.